habari 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 ndugu wadau uh, kama mnavyoona hapo kwenye screenshot ambayo unaionyesha hii hapa kuna hii message ambayo inayotembea inasema kwamba America e visa for the citizens of the United Republic of Tanzania press release ambayo ina logo hapo juu ya USCIS ambayo ni US Citizenship and Immigration Services ambayo ni dala maalum ambayo na na masuala ya immigration ndani ya Marekani sasa hili tangazo limekuwa forwarded many times kwa sehemu nyingi sana nataka kuangalisha watu kwamba wanaenda kutapeliwa Uh, nataka kuelezea kwamba makosa ya hii hapa inasema vipi inasema kwamba uh, the US mission in collaboration with East Africa Community EAC has signed a new executive order that interested citizens of the of the Republic of Tanzania who measure in some special professions are uh, eligible for American work e visa and work permit kwanza kitu cha kwanza Marekani hawezi kuandika sentence hiyo ndefu sana na namna hii wapo bila kuwa na kituo au kuwa na mkato. Yaani ukiangalia sentensi ya kwanza ina mistari moja, mbili, ta, almost tatu. Ni sentensi moja ndefu sana. Ambayo ni sentensi inaandikwa mara kwa mara na watu ambao ni English ni lugha yao ya pili. Hii sio lugha ya Kimarekani. Na kuja kuangalia ina makosa mengi ya namna hiyo hapo. Kama wakisema kwamba uh, wamesign executive order kwamba US mission in collaboration with East Africa has signed new executive order. Executive order ni order inayotoka kwa rais wa Marekani ndio executive ambayo ni president Joe Biden na hiyo order haiwezi kusainiwa na US mission hicho kitu cha namna ile pale ingetajiwa na akisema kama ni executive order katika document ya Marekani lazima specify ni executive order namba ngapi hapa wanachotaka kukifanya wanataka kuskamu ila zenu wanataka kwa IBN kwa kweni makini sana kwenye mazingira mtandaoni kwa sababu watu sawa mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa na mtoto sana kuja Marekani lakini vile vile nilikuwa natumia na brain yangu lisi nikatapeliwa kwa hiyo mtu anapokuwa so much desperate inafika kipindi unajikuta kwamba unaweza kuingia kwenye mtego wao kwa kitu cha kwanza kama mtu akisite kwamba tumetumia executive order lazima ahitaje executive order namba ipi lazima document ya Marekani yote ile pale lazima itajwe kitu cha kwanza kitu cha pili endelea unaona kitu cha pili nasema kwamba this was communicated to the Tanzanians mission in the United States by the US Department of Immigration Marekani hakuna US Department of Immigration haipo hakuna kitu kinachojitwa US Department of Immigration haipo kuna department tunafasema department ni wizara kwa lugha ya Kimarekani kwa Kiingereza cha Kimarekani department ni wizara tumine no ministry kwa kwa gezo hicho hapo department of state na dili na mambo ya utoaji wa visa na mambo za ubalozi Ukiingia mu ndani kuna Department of Homeland Security ambapo ndani yake kuna hiyo agency ya USCIS United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. Kwa hakuna Department of Immigration Marekani, US Department of Immigration haipo. Kitu kingine inasema kwamba uh, hii hapa haiwezi kuwa communicate to the Tanzanians mission in the United States. Unaona? Who are these Tanzanians missions? Waya. Kitu kingine nasema kwamba the terms of the executive order. Lazima uitaje executive order mpaka allow 20,000 citizens of the Republic of Tanzania. Hakuna kitu kinachoa Republic of Tanzania, ni United Republic of Tanzania. Amerudia mara mbili those who are interested of uh, of the Republic of Tanzania. Kwa kuonesha kwamba mtu atana kuandika hicho kitu hakijui. Kwa wanataka kutapeli. Marekani hawezi kukosea kutaja jina la nchi katika document muhimu ya kiofisi kusema Republic of Tanzania ni United Republic of Tanzania kama alivyo katika title yake lakini kitu kingine ambacho wanasema kwamba ni hii hapa ni, ni, ni scam ni kwamba uh, wanasema kwamba the age between 22 to 60 whose expertise are among the following kwamba ni health workers engineers uh, marine workers uh, civil servants hakuna kitu kilichoitwa civil servants kama ni profession profession itakuwa kama ni political science itakuwa ni nini kwa sababu unaweza ukawa engineer lakini ukafanya kama katika katika, katika kama civil servant unaona business administrator unaweza kufanya katika civil servant kwa hakuna kitu unasema civil servant kama ni profession kama vile accountants unaweza kuwa accountant wa serikalini unaweza kuwa accountant katika private sector kwa hiyo unaona kwamba ni watu ambao wanataka kila mtu uh, accountants lecturers naweza kusema lecturer wangesema academic academia whatever special skill workers What are those special skill workers? Hakuna hata kituo. Au ni makosa mengi sana ya kigramu na makosa makubwa sana. Lakini wanakuja kwamba endelea hapa hapa ndio unaweza kukamata nataka kuibia. 
interested qualified candidates are advised to ad, uh, adhere to strictly to the following angalia huko ndani the kuna elfu kubwa alafu ndogo adhere elfu kubwa a ni kubwa ukiangalia a a hicho ni kiingereza gani hamna grammar na namna ile uwezo kuna official document inakuwa na interested i q kubwa c kubwa a kubwa na kuweza ku bold bold namna ile pale document nyingi zinazokuwa bold bold namna ile pale I angalia anasema kwamba all applicants must send the following documents to the consular station via email info at america immigration.us huwezi ku send hakuna um, kwamba consular section consular section ipi kama consular section uh, section ile, ile ile ya US embassy ya Tanzania lazima wa specify na hiyo sio office sio email ya consular section ya ubalozi wa Marekani website ya, ya serikali ya Marekani website yote pale any US government document lazima iwe na neno at the end dot .gov dot .gov dot .government any website ambayo inakuwa na dot .com dot .net dot .us dot uh, or dot .whatever hizo zote ni fake lazima iinishie katika dot .gov ambayo ni domain official government domain of the greatest nation on the planet earth United States of America kwa hiyo hii hapa hiyo email sio email ya ubalozi wa Marekani na consular section EP lazima specify hicho kitu cha kwanza lakini wanasema kwamba send the following thing kwamba A angalia kwa hiyo 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 A ni wameibold B wameibold unaona alafu angalia O anasema kwamba uh, onesha kwamba hiyo government nani kalukula mvitae in most cases Marekani tunatumia neno kalukula mvitae very very rare tunatumia hizo neno lakini it's okay tutatumia resume lakini wangesema kalukula okay hicho kitu cha mle pale lakini kama ni hivi lazima wangekupa form ya kujaza sio tu kutuma CV afa na kuchagulia hawana huo muda mchafu alafu na kwambia government issued ID or passport uh, biodata page unaona kwa nini o oh, umeweka kwenye kwa, kwa bolded ni vitu vidogo vidogo sana za detect kwamba hivi hapa ni vitu vya uongo ni matapeli hawa haya anakuambia kwamba au watu kwambia kwamba anakupa masharti manne la kwanza anasema kwamba all applicants advise to monitor their email unaona uh, always for feedback afterwards applicants who do not receive response after three business days should consider their visa applications rejected by the consular section uh, and this a uh, decision cannot be appealed angalau matapeli uwezi ku apply visa kwa kwenda kwenye nini kutuma cv na id basi ndio visa no visa hata kama uko umepata iwe ni lottery uwe umepata kazi na yeyote ile pale uwe unakuja kuwakilisha nchi yako nchi yote ile pale application ya visa inafanywa kwenye US embassy website kuna sehemu moja ya visa ile pale una apply online how can you be rejected kwa kutuma cv hiyo visa ya rejected visa lazima uwapie pale lazima ulipe hela aina gani ya visa kama ni visa ya kazi lazima ulipe hawa ni matapeli huwezi kuwa rejected kwa kutuma cv lazima uwapie pale lazima uona barcode lazima ulipie pale site benki pale Dar es Salaam kwa kuna kitu kama cha namna hiyo hapo lakini kitu kingine anakuambia kwamba wanaenda kuniambia kwamba asimo meapply watu 100 ndio na siku tatu 3 business days kwamba watakuwa wameshalipia watu wote sio kweli kitu cha pili anasema kwamba only successful angalia hiyo hapo only kuna o kubwa successful s kubwa applicants a kubwa hakuna kiingereza cha namna hiyo hapo katika grammar Only successful applicants are required to make a deposit dola 250 for English proficiency test. Uongo mkubwa huo. Kama unapewa skilled visa kwa mfano vile unavyo apply Canada, lazima on your own, lazima ukafanye mtihani wa Kiingereza. Na mtihani wa Kiingereza haui coordinated na wetu unawalipa ubalozi wa Marekani hela. Hata kama Canada ukataka ku apply mtihani wa ule wa British Council au ule mwingine, they don't care. Wewe ni jukumu lako kwa Tanzania kafanya ule mtihani ukiwa kumchesha uh, umenyelewa kwa dola 220 au unabidi ulipe kwa kupitia uende British Council pale ulipe shilingi 1670 kama sijakosea kufanya mtihani wa IELTS hawenye hawadili na hivi vitu kama udeposit hela ubalozi wa Marekani hauna hauna utaratibu wa kudeposit hela haudili na hicho kitu kwa sio katapeliwa kwa sababu deposit dola 250 for the English proficiency test hakuna takitua hakuna koma which must be undertaken undertake in America upon arrival before resumption of any of uh, any official duty hicho kitu wakipo. kama unakupa visa unakuja kufanya kazi unataka ku prove kama vile mwanafunzi lazima ufanye mtihani kwanza wajiridhishe kwa kila kitu sio kuleta huko for shindo kuongea Kiingereza hicho kitu wakipo. children of applicants below the age of 16 are not required to make this deposit however couples are bound to make payments as a principal applicants 
sio kweli marekani akizungumzia kwamba masuala ya dependence kama children hai kwamba kwamba usiku fanya hicho hapo kama dependence ni dependence haiyalishi kwamba huyu ni nani wangesema kwamba uh, kwenye english hiyo hapo kwa sababu anakuja kufanya kazi ni principal applicant kwa nini mke wake ambaye yeye anatakuwa alipe hiyo hela sina kujua kiingereza ni kama ukiapply chuo marekani ukisha apply chuo wewe ndio unayekuja mke wako anajua kama anajua Kiswahili anajua Kiingereza I don't care about that kwa sababu unakuja under, under you kwa hiyo kitu ni uongo anataka tukukusanya hela wewe na mke wako akusanye hizo hela mme na mke dola 500 utakula hela yako kwa hiyo sio kaibiwe hicho kitu anakwambia ya, ya tatu anasema kwamba applicants may be required to pay application an application review fee of 50 dollar kwa nini hapo kwenye hii deposit ya 2250 dola 250 ameweka katika 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 ile alama namba na ile dola sign hapa amesema 50 dollar anaiweka katika mazingira ya maneno kitu ambacho sio kweli ni inconsistency kubwa sana hiyo if the council sec- section demands unaona ah uh, alafu kuna koma kuna nini hapo applicants must go about their applications themselves without involving any parties such as the travel agents family members living in the United States or any other delegates Marekani haiwezi kuhofia wewe kuwasiliana na mwanasheria, haiwezi kuhofia wewe kuona na travel agent, they don't care if you want hao watu wanataka kuonesha kwamba usiwasiliane na mtu kwa Marekani kwa sababu wanajua huu ni uongo, hawa ni matapeli, watakuja kukuibia. Kwa kama ni hivyo basi, hakikisha utapeliwi. Unanipata paka hapo, wanataka kuambia kwamba usimwambie mtu mwingine nenda kimya kimya wewe kama wewe ili wakuibie vizuri. Hiyo ndio kisha nataka kukisikia, kukifanya. Unanipata paka hapo. Kwa kuwa makini sana na hicho kitu ambacho wanataka kukifanya. Kwa hiyo hapa ni fake. Kwamba usi involve travel agent or family member living in the United States sababu or any other delegates sababu wanataka unajua watakuzingua, watakushtukia, watakujenjarusha. Ya mwisho sababu kwamba applicants who wish to be vaccinated upon arrival in the United States do not need to make any payment for vaccine. Vaccination in the United States is free of charge. Kitu namna hiyo hapo they don't care wanyesho kitaka ni kwa wanavuja marekani they don't care wanyesho kitaka ni kwa wana negative covid test kupi kutaka kupima hilo masuala mengine acha na mambo ya namna hiyo hata kama kulipia dola mbili kwa nini ama mambo wanataka kujustify to wizi wao anakwambia application deadline ni tarehe 30 of august mwaka 2021 unaona kitu ambacho ukija kuangalia ayaangalia anachokifanya anaweka sahihi hiyo hapo alafu amesema kwamba hii document ilikuwa signed tarehe mbili July 2021 hicho kitu cha kwanza alafu anasema kwamba title ni immigration senior na ni SFO SFO UCIS kitu ambacho sio kweli kwa sababu lazima ukisign hiyo document kama unaweka sahihi yako lazima uke jina lako na title hata hata hata, hata baada ya kisign sehemu lazima andike aweke sahihi yake na andike jina lake huwezi kuishia kuandika tu title kwamba president of America bila kuandika Joe Biden no hicho kitu wa kipo na kuja kuangalia ni kwamba kama ni public hapa nenda kwenye nenda sasa hivi kwenye uh, kwenye Google search andika kwa kama kuna hicho kitu kicho kama kuna public kuna hiyo nini executive order ya kuapa watu hiyo hapo sasa hivi katika pandemic watu wanaopewa green card lottery wamezuiliwa wengi kwa sababu ya pandemic hawajapata ndio wameshinda waje kuchukua wewe una kitu gani cha ajabu waliopewa wanaokuja kwa skilled jobs wamezuiliwa wengi kwa sababu ni kwamba marekani yenyewe kwa kazi yenyewe bado is professional job kuzipata ni kazi kwa nini waleta watu wengine watu ofishilini hicho kitu wa kipo order iliyotolewa mwezi April baada ya kuanza mambo na nini mwezi April na ikayo revise in June kwamba visa zilizopewa kipaumbele ni green card visas either umeshinda lottery au ni wewe pia umepewa green card by family sponsorship au umepewa green card by religious umepewa green card kwa katika njia ambayo unasema ni na nini ni, ni, ni work sponsorship hizo ndio kipaumbele nani immigrant visa si unakuja kufutembea si unakuja H1 hicho sio kipaumbele at all at the moment unless otherwise in emergency hata baadhi ya student visas zimefutwa kwamba hawafanyi mtu interview kwa hiyo kitu ni uongo anajua tu mtu kwa desperate wanakuja kuibia hela yako ukienda hapo kuandikia hiyo email utakujibu wa majamani matapeli nenda kaangalie andika hiyo hiyo info tatoka kwenye google search uone kama hiyo email ipo mbili nenda tu ndio neno at info at andika hiyo americanimmigration.us kama website uangalie kinachotokea nini kama ujue utapeliwa hao ni matapeli kama matapeli wengine kuwa makini usije kuibiwa Asante sana ni mimi hapa Ernest Boniface Makulilo nikiongea toka mizuri Marekani sitaki uibiwe. Uh, kama ndio maana yangu kunisikia hakikisha unakwenda kwenye ya YouTube channel yangu ya Kiswahili ni youtube.com/ebmswahili. Utakutana na video nyingi sana pale za mambo kutaka kuja Marekani. Njia sahihi ni zipi kwenda nje za Ulaya, Australia, Canada na nyinginezo. 
lakini kwenye kiingereza ni youtube.com/ebmscholars utanipata hapo asante sana